Welcome, in this video I'll show you how to install NDA plugin on OBS. Alright, if you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more such tutorials. Now first up, open up any browser, okay? Go ahead and type in ndi.video forward slash tools, okay? Again, ndi.video forward slash tools. Just hit on enter, wait for the website to load, and once it loads, Go ahead and select your operating system. Okay, for this example, we're going to be using Windows, so just click on it. Wait for it to load. And then here, there will be a download page, so just save it wherever you want. I'm going to go ahead and save it on my desktop. Save. Wait for the process to finish. While it's downloading, we can go ahead and open up a new tab in here. Now, just go ahead and look for Distro, Distro AV. Okay, hit on Enter. Now, in here, just go ahead and click on the link where it says GitHub. Okay. This one, this show AV formerly OBS and DI. So just click on it. And then right panel, we have the releases section. Click on the latest release. Click on it. Now go and scroll all the way down until you find assets. And here select Windows. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and select Windows X64 installer exe, not the zip. So just click on it. Save it on desktop as well and just wait for these downloads to finish. All right, once the download is done, you can now go ahead and close the browser. Here we have the installer. First, NDI 6 tools, double click on it, and then just click on yes, as there will be a pop-up, okay? In here, just click on I accept the agreement and hit on next. I confirm, yes, I agree. No thanks, hit on next. Next. Again, just wait for it. It's almost done. There you go. Here we have the shortcut and just sign in. Okay. And just sign in or register. So I'm just going to go ahead and register right here real quick. And just wait for the app to load. There you go. Now, once that's done, as you can see, here we still have one installer. Just double click on it. Hit on yes. As again, there'll be a pop up in here. Just click on next, next. If it asks you to remove OBS NDR plugin, just uh, untick it and then just hit on next and install. There you go. It's done. So as you can see here, I'm currently using my OBS for recording. So I'm just going to go ahead and close this and then I'm going to reopen it. Okay. Now, there you go. Here we have the OBS studio. Now, when we go ahead over to tools right here at the top. Okay. As you can see, we now have the distro AV NDI settings. And uh, when you go ahead and add in a source, as you can see here, we have the NDI source as well. And that is it. That's how you install NDI plugin here on OBS. Well, I hope this video helps and I'll see you in the next one.